This hot new alternative surf rock band looks like they're ready to tour anywhere in the country. However, it wasn't always this way. Lily Trifilio used to write and sing songs for fun only, unaware that her passion and talent for music would lead her to form her own band and their very own fan base. And for Trifilio and her band members, their struggle is juggling their big shot in the music industry while dealing with the stresses of still growing up. I started this a while ago solo. Um, I was kind of hesitant to let people on, but it's been amazing getting to like form a little family. Two years ago, Beach Bunny was just getting started. They were rehearsing their songs in small apartment spaces. Now, as they prepare for their next tour, they're renting out their very own rehearsal space. And their founding member can barely <laughs> believe how their popularity has grown. Gosh, I feel like so much has happened. We definitely went from a band that was like in the thousands range to now like hundreds thousands range on Spotify. Um, we've toured and release more music together and I feel like it's we've just gone from like a local band to more of like a national thing. <laughs> Beach Bunny takes advantage of streaming sites such as Spotify and other forms of social media to help share and spread their music. Currently they have more than 100,000 monthly listeners on Spotify and those numbers continue to rise. Pursuing a career in the arts proves to be difficult, especially with high competition. But the band members are working hard as they are learning the ins and outs of the industry. Matt Henkel's lead guitarist of the band, said they have had growing pains because the music business can be rewarding but difficult and competitive. I think we're a little more suspect of everyone just because there's a lot of people like trying to take advantage and certain ways um, but there are a lot of good people out there it's just like prioritizing what we should be doing who we should be talking to who we shouldn't be talking to what once seemed like a pipe dream slowly turned into a reality as Beach Bunny started to play more and more shows in the heart of Chicago I think before music was kind of just an outlet to to get out past feelings and now it's become more of like a passion and more of the focus has not only been on songwriting, but just learning how to be like a performer and ha play that role. It's a huge part of my life. Trifilio's first song was called Six Weeks, which she made for fun at her parents' house. A few years later, she would launch an extended play or EP mix and would tour the country with the company of her band, Beach Bunny. The drummer of the band, John Alvarado, has been playing drums since he was 13 years old and practices nearly every single day of the week. He says being in the band has helped shape him as a person and his relationships in his life. It's taught me a lot just like being in a band uh, like Beach Bunny. I don't know, you have to be really tight with each other and like your relationships, music can bring such success, but like if you're not tight with your bandmates, then you're gonna suck, so. Navigating the music scene is not always easy especially when the band are either full-time students at DePaul University or working. Sometimes it can be very stressful, but I feel like um, we've all kind of worked out a way to keep balanced and um, keep music a priority no matter what else is happening. So sometimes maybe we'll miss out on going out somewhere if we have a show, um, but long term it's like it's worth it. Prom Queen is the name of Beach Bunny's newest EP. The band featured this EP on their first tour last year. Um, yeah, no, it was amazing. I've never really traveled before either, like apart from just uh, trips here and there. So especially traveling like just with friends um, and just exploring all these new places I've never been and also being able to do music at the same time was insane and probably one of the most memorable things out of the last two years. The national buzz the band created while touring did not go unnoticed in their hometown. And in the beginning of 2019, the Chicago Tribune gave Beach Bunny a glowing profile. A few days later, they would headline a wildly successful concert at one of Chicago's best-known music venues. Since opening in 1912, Lincoln Hall has housed a movie theater, an auto garage, the Crest Theater, and a three-penny cinema. But now it's a music venue. It holds more than 500 people, and Beach Bunny played a sold-out show here on January 10th of this year. Insane. I don't think any of us were expecting it to be as grand as it was, um, and especially selling out before the doors even opened. I think a lot of us, or like the boys and I thought, maybe it would sell out at the show, but not in advance. Playing the guitar is not band member Matt Henkel's only responsibility. I handle a lot of like the 
managerial aspects of the band. So it's like Beach Bunny is also like a full-time job almost for me. So it's stressful. It's a lot of like stuff that people don't understand about being in a band. Like many industries, the music scene is typically dominated by males. But this is ever-changing, especially with bands such as Beach Bunny, with Trifilio as their front woman. It's very interesting because I feel like um, back two years ago, I didn't know of that many uh, female artists or female singers in the scene. But now it seems like it's becoming more and more each year. So it's, um, it's great being able to play shows with other girls and all encourage each other. <laughs> The attention that Beach Bunny has gathered in the city of Chicago is a huge accomplishment. However, if they want to continue their success, there are some steps they'll have to take. DePaul music industry expert Daniel McAgon says they will have big hills to climb to make it big in an intensely competitive field. They need to tour a lot. In other words, the buzz that they build around the country comes back. So at this point, they've established that they're a band that local people get behind. And so if they want to move up in venue size, like maybe the next goal is the Metro or um, something along those lines. Macagon teaches courses on music industries and culture at DePaul University, and he stresses the importance of releasing music and expanding their fan base, something the band's success will rely on. But definitely you want to continue to put out music. You don't want lengthy periods of time between your releases. Um, but you don't want to overwhelm uh, an audience as well. And you want to not just keep playing locally. You need to play regionally and then keep fanning out. And luckily, Beach Bunny has some songs up their sleeves. We're working on an album, so that's something exciting that hopefully will come out within the next like six to eight months. <laughs> for now, the band members have a lot on their plate, taking classes and getting ready for graduation. But that's not stopping them from hitting the road on their next tour. So one thing's for sure, they aren't going to stop doing what they love anytime soon. Reporting for Good Day to Paul In Depth, I'm Ariana Kraft. <laughs>